Shalom Wan Makim. His brother Kamama Har here back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders learning truth right from GMS. Blessings out there for uh, to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart true sincerity. And blessings to the hundred to the hundred and forty-four thousand and one third. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biaf Dawada, Lord willing and one of those men. And shalom to you brothers out there. <laughs> looking at different nations. Shalom, brothers. So um Today I wanted to get in on, um, you know, I caught this video uh, some other time. Um, I definitely want to throw a video on it on, um, you know, Esau's sword. You know what I mean? Esau's sword is his blessing. Haven't really went into this in a while, uh, but this video was very perfect, especially through the spirit. You'll see um, what I mean um, about Esau's sword, how it's, how it's uh, symbolic to the, to the scriptures. Um, I had this video... I guess I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play the video first. Actually, you know what? Wait, wait, hold up. No, you know what? Let me let me get this scripture first. It says um, Psalms. Psalms 17 and 13. Perfect. It says uh, Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right. So that's how you know uh, the wicked is the is the sword on the left hand side of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh But it says disappoint him. So when it says disappoint him and cast him down, you know that's what that's literally what you know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go into the scriptures and prove that the Esau sword is a blessing, which we can see. You know Esau, you know rule the world with the sword, navies. With their navies and their, you know, their, uh, the, the armies and the, you know, fighter jets and the nuclear bombs, you know, the power structure of Esau is pretty strong. And even if you would have, and if you want, if you want to look at it from, you know, the Amalekites as in, in the Jewish, they're Edomites. And you got the Russians, they're Edomites. You got the Edomites, uh, other, uh, uh, you know, Esau for real, for real, you know, over in America, they're the true, you know, the elites. They're all Edomites if you want to look at it. So, and they rule the world. They do. The Europeans, the UNs, all of them are Edomites, you know, and that, that's what that pretty much, you know, they're, they're you know, they, they rule the world with the sword. The guns, the, you know, the tanks, however you want to put it. This little video here, I wanted to throw up, though. Um, let me see. So I found this. Uh, Perfect. So now take a look at this video, so-called Esau, well, Esau, so the so-called white man, pretty much created a new highly, highly, uh, highly concentrated uh, lasers, uh, laser beams that's now able to be to, to, to uh, is, is so accurate and super, super efficient when it comes to defense, like it can take down a plane. And it could take down incoming missiles and things of that nature. But so let me let me just put this video up and look at Esau's Esau's laser beams. And brothers know where I'm going with that because you know the chairs got their own. And this Esau is not, definitely not fucking with uh you know the chariots of the Lord with their laser beams. But hey, you know, I gotta edify a little bit. Take a look at this. FanDuel Sportsbook makes it easy to bet live during the game. But to make it even easier. We got Hall of Famer Orlando Pace to place Kyle's bet. Lockheed Martin produces systems that do everything from... So it said the time of laser weapons has come. Yeah, right. But hey, you know, you can't knock Esau. You know what I mean? That's a blessing from, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll, uh, if you can receive it, uh, Isaac is, was also Yahweh Shah as well. You got Adam, Isaac, and Solomon. You know that was that was uh, that was uh, you know if you could receive it was Yahweh Shah, and so the blessing, uh, and then, and obviously Isaac gave the blessing to Yah to to Esau, and Yahweh Shah is going to come and take it take it from him. You know so, you know that's real interesting how that goes. If you can receive it, brothers, that's what that is. Um, uh, but it said the late the time of the, the time of the the time of the laser weapons has come. So that's that's 
that's like, you know, twofold or like real symbolic because we know in the near future, Yahweh Shah going to crack the sky and, you know, he going and he going to attack all the, all the, uh, that, that war in heaven. He going to attack all the, all the Esau's, uh, bands, man. Well, one shot with, with, with uh, with, uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah laser beam. So it's like, it's crazy how it works out because it's like, that's spiritual because it's like the time of the laser weapons has come. Yeah, it actually has. It's on its way too. And so Esau has his version of the of, of laser beams, which which is pretty impressive because, you know, it's a blessing from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So if it's a blessing, it's going to be, you know, perfected in a way of that's, you know, going to be, you know, pretty substantial. And Esau's weapons are substantial on this side. They really are. You can't can't buy can't buy war with Esau with the wet with the sword. It's not happening. Detect the threats, to identify the threats, determine whether it's a threat to the aircraft, and then employs the appropriate weapon, in this case, a laser weapon system. What we're hearing from our customers is that they need a layered, multi-domain defensive approach that can be integrated across platforms to neutralize these threats across all those domains. Imagine an aircraft equipped with a laser system with the capability to be able to neutralize a threat at the speed of a lightning strike, the precision of a surgical scalpel, with the magazine to deal with a swarm, and with the scalable effect to be able to address that threat providing an effect all the way the one end from simply deterring it for a short period of time all the way up to completely neutralizing and defeating that threat and see you got to look at it like this you have to believe that esau is going to try to use these weapons on yahweh shah when he come with those angels it's not going to work is is a you know so they you know they, they talking about how it's going to be really surgical it's going to be very be able to neutralize any any defense or or any threat but when you have a shot come on the scene we're going to see about that we were able to integrate our laser weapon system athena into the classified c2 network and receive cues from the radar on the range in order to execute the full kill chain. The Helios laser weapon system builds on 40 years of combat system engineering and radar excellence. That is a fundamental change for laser weapon systems, which here to date have been prototypes added to a ship. Helios will be integrated into the ship. Hey, but I tell you what, brothers, you know what I mean? If you really want to look at it, shoot, laser, laser technology is, is most likely and obviously the greatest weapon technology you can think of. I mean, look at Star Wars, look at, um, you know, uh, like, you know, if brothers know about anime Gundam Wing or, you know, like, you know, uh, uh, uh. Shoot, Dragon Ball Z, a key blast, which is a highly concentrated energy, you know, from the, you know, from, you know, within, you know, that's basically like a laser type situation too, you know what I mean? So if you really want to think about it, look at Independence Day, look at uh, 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 War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise, or or, or look at, um, uh, uh, um, you got, um, I mean, the list goes on, uh, look at Terminator. Whenever the machines was in the when you when the when the future when the future future war when the, when Terminator and all different styles of the movies when they depict the war with the the machines versus the humans, the, with what the machines were using where it was like a laser technology. So every movie for the most part, uh uh you know when it comes to like futuristic type of situations, you know the expanse, um you know there's so many different uh, de uh examples where um, laser beam type of technology is the superior weapon to use. Um, uh, the lightsaber, you know what I mean? Off of Star, Star Wars, you know? So, um, you know, laser beams are obviously the, the actual best, the best depiction of, of the weapon. And it makes sense because, you know, bullets are still pretty, you know, prominent, especially if it hits the flesh is, you know, can undo it. But then the day though, laser, the laser technology has come. You know, that's that's the new dominant situation. You know what I'm saying? A laser, you just imagine, you know, a bullet, 
to a laser that they can just shoot through the skin, like just you know a laser, boom, and and highly untraceable too, because you know if you can shoot a bullet can can be can go into the body. The autopsy person can look at the bullet, tell you what the bullets come from, what gun it is. Then they can trace the bullet back to the manufacturer, and then the manufacturer can tell you much where who bought the bullet, and then you caught. You seen forensics on. You know, you've seen forensic TV shows and how they do it. It's pretty easy. That's why they, that's why people like to use a revolver because the shells don't come out. But at the end of the day, though, you know, the bullet goes in and they can just still get from there. You're, you're going to get caught. So, but laser beams are just straight, you know, straight to the point. And you know there was a, a highly concentrated heat blast, but you wouldn't, you couldn't tell what gun it was and who has it because, you know, it's just straight to the point. You know, ain't nothing but energy. And you can't trace energy back nowhere. You can't, it's not going to be able to be done. So that's pretty interesting, man, what's going on, man. That's spiritual because, you know, for, you know, what? oh, here you go right here. It says, direct the energy, the time for the laser weapon systems has come. Right. And that's spiritual because that's what Yahweh Shah going to be using and the angels. So what's exciting about this technology is that it's scalable. It's lived in the laboratory for many years, but it's finally reached the power levels and the effectiveness to allow it to be used on the battlefield. As an example, today's laser weapon systems can be used to defeat rockets, artillery, mortars, and even small UAVs. And as that technology and capability scales, the effectiveness scales with it. We'll be to the point here shortly where we'll be able to defend aircraft against incoming missiles and even reach out over long distances and destroy ballistic missile threats. See? See, see what they're saying? It says it said they'll be able to destroy ballistic missile threats. Now we know in Joel the second chapter where the Lord says, uh, not one shall shall hold their rank, meaning like meaning like they're um and it also talk about how they're they're gonna be able to um you know go and, and not not return void. You know, they're gonna be able to go hit their mark and there's nothing gonna be able to shoot them down. So that's against what the Esau is talking about. Laser weapon systems are earning their way onto the battlefield. Lockheed Martin advancements in the fundamental subsystems, be it beam control, high energy laser, beam direction, power and thermal, is bringing a system to system approach to our customers' most challenging problem. Lockheed Martin can bring that end to end capability into the theater for the life of our platforms and help defend the brave women and men who boldly go in harm's way to defend our freedoms. That's Esau for you, man. But hey, you know, it makes sense for Esau to be able to do that. That's their blessing. You know, they are the sword. Um... Let me go to Genesis, uh, what is that, uh, 27, uh, like around 39 or 40, I believe. It says, uh, I'm going to get right to the point with it. Um, so, um, okay, so I started 30, um, okay, so this is the reason why. This is the reason, well, and I'm going to go start 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, Isaac, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And it says, And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Right. And that's why Esau, that's why Esau now is, uh, you know, is, is the richest. They're the elites. They, uh, you know, not, not to mention Job said in Job 9.24, it said the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So, and they, and they covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, who and, and where and who is he? So, you see how Esau, the elites, you know, they, they're, they're, they're the billionaires and the trillionaires of today. They're, you know, they, they control everything. Uh, they're in the, they, they, they got the skyscrapers. They got the, you know, the bunkers. They got the, the armies, you know. You know, they, 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 the presidents are all Edomites. You know, they, they're the kings of the earth right now. That's what it is. You know, and nobody can touch America at this particular point until you, until Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shah makes that, that time frame of the realm over, which is where we're in now. We're in the, we're in the end of the rulership. 
And it says, uh, so the dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. Right. They got the satellites up there. They, they want a 36th floor on the condos. They got this, got the uh, national space stations. You know, they, they, they got everything, you know, all the best things on this side. You know, they got our women, too. And all everybody else's women. They control all the nations. There's an embassy in pretty much almost every country. Not everyone, but the but the the but the predominant countries um, that we can think of. There's a U.S. embassy there. You know they have the fatness of the earth thereof. They control everything. Here we here's the point. Forty. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, thou shalt break his yoke off from thy neck. Right. And that's what Esau did. Through the Renaissance period, that's when they broke, they broke off, they broke through, broke free, and took rule. And now look at look at them now. You know, you got the Babylonians, the Greeks. You even got the the uh, you know, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the what well, the, the Babylonians, the Persian Medes. But then you got the but then but then you got the Greeks come back on the scene, and then you got the Roman Empire right now. You know, so they you know they they had a little reign, and they still here in, until until you know a short notice. Revelation 12, 12, you know, they, they come through a great rag because they know they have a short time. Um, but that's what that is, though. So, and you can see right here, it says, but, and by the sword in 40, thou shalt live. Right. And that's what they do. They live by the sword. They conquer, rape, murder, they rape, rob, and murder everything with the sword. That's how they was able to take, take control. Think about it. They, they came up with the, uh, well, no, they actually took um, German... German scientists from um, Hitler time and made them, gave them passports. I believe that's uh, that's uh, Operation High Jump, or no, is that uh, Operation uh, what was that? Um, Operation might have been High Jump or or something else. It's one of those operations where they gave they took German scientists and from the Hitler times, which were so called Jewish people, I believe, as well. I'm not sure, but I know I know uh, America took German type of scientists and brought them over to America, gave them passports and American citizenship, put them to work, and ended up creating that atomic bomb. Is how America got his got his got his name to be superpower when he bombed um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki with atomic bomb because ain't nobody seen that before. So when when America when America uh, had dropped that bomb, that put fear in the whole world's heart. Up until these time frames now, where now other countries got atomic bomb, I mean nuclear bombs now too. So now America's on an equal playing field with the rest of everybody else. So there ain't nobody scared of America. Plus they're gonna shoot those missiles at America too, and their and their destruction coming very soon. You know, so you know Babylon Babylon gonna be destroyed anyway. But I was wanting to bring that out that you know the swords are a blessing. Now let's get more more deep into it because. Um, Right here in uh, Revelations, see, you know, the the Holy Spirit to be able to break these things down, um, you know, and also, you know, the, you know, from um, the uh, knowledge, knowledge um, from Yahabashim Yahashah through the through the brothers of the apostles of GMS, you know, school brothers very well, and they got the full truth of this thing, man. This is what it is. Um, um, Revelation six. I want to get to the point um, in the um, fourth verse. It says, and there went out another horse that was red. And that red is, is, is Edom, you know, Edom Esau. And it says, and the power was given to him th that sat the run to take peace from the earth. Right. Because remember, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So you got to remember, you know, w uh, great wars, you know, people killing each other. Um, you know, Esau killing, killing people like crazy. Rob, rape, and murder, especially the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians. They stole the land from the, uh, in, in, you know, this, you know, the Gad and Reuben, uh, from from America, because they was over here first, and, you know, and they 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 Kim trails, you know, they got the they got the, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, they, they damaging the water, they extincting a lot of the animals, you know, all that through the power of Esau, man, because the power's in their hands, so they can do what they want, pursuing the hold up before I finish the scripture. No, let me finish the scripture first. It's a lock here. Revelation 6 and 4. And it says, And there went out another horse that was red, Esau, and the power was given to him that sat the run to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, 
and there was given unto him a great sword, right? Because that sword is his blessing. So Esau, Esau's blessing is the sword for the reason why they can have so many weapons and different things, you know, to be able to kill one another and take over what they want to do. You got the guns, you got the tanks, the fighter jets, you got the satellites, the laser beams now, and things of that nature. You know, so they can be able to conquer this world like the scriptures say they're going to do. They're going to live by the sword, which is their blessing. And because that sword was a great sword. And why not? It was a blessing from Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. So, you know, Esau's sword as a blessing has to be substantial. It ain't going to be no slouch. You know? So, um, right here, you know, through this video, I wanted to show that, you know, that... um. Esau's new technology is the laser beam. So I want to finish off with uh with Second Edris, the 13th chapter, when Yahweh Shah comes back on the scene and you know in, in that great war of heaven. And it's a slap in the face because Esau has created these new new laser beam weapons, but there's but it's nothing on Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. So when Yahweh Shah comes from the east with those angels, man, there's gonna be some problems because they're gonna have their own laser beams that 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 Esau ain't gonna have nothing to fuck with. Uh 13 and uh let me get to the point. And let me say, uh, you know, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to two. Second address 13 and 2. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong. Who are you talking about? Yahweh Shah, with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Absolutely. There's gonna be a big ass fucking father ship, and all eyes gonna see him. And it's, them, them things are huge. And it says, uh, and we're going to read how big this thing is. It says, and whensoever the voice went out of his uh, of his mouth, all all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth fell off when it filled the fire. Right. That's that laser beam. But we're going to get more into it. And after this, I beheld and lo, there gathered together a multitude of men out of the number of the from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Right. And that's the uh that's the you know the armies of the earth coming together that because there's gonna be World War III going on. And so when Yahweh Shah come out of the scene, all the armies of the earth are gonna turn to Yahweh Shah to fight like they like that like uh like an independence day the first the first. Well, even both Independence Day, because that's that was all the world fighting against that that so-called alien threat. And it says, uh, I'm gonna read that again, just in case people brothers can understand that. And after this, I beheld and lo. There was a gathered together a multitude of men out of out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the earth. Right. So that's all the armies of the world. So right now you got different allies that's together, like America's ally with Israel and, um, you know, Israel and other other allies. You got Iran with Russia. You know, everybody's to get is, is, is separate and divided in the world upon who friends and who's or who. But now in this time frame, you know, Russia, America, China, Jap Japan, A Asia, Germany, A A Europe, the whole entire world, Africa, the whole entire world's armies are going to come together on one consent to, to go at Yahweh Shah when he come out of the sky, come out of the heavens. And it says uh, right here, here we go. Second, second address 13 and 6. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. And I'll keep on reading. And I said, I would have seen the region of, or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. So what he's saying is the the uh, the the chariot that the, that Yahweh Shah flew up upon and came out with was so big it was as if like it was a mountain because you got to look about it if you if you stand next to a mountain as a regular human you know that thing you know when you stand right next to it you can't tell where it begin or end because you're so small compared to it so when Yahweh Shah came out with that big ship it was as big as a mountain and when you stand under it you can't tell it was so big and, and wide and long you couldn't even tell where it began or ended it just it, it looked like it was it was the sky itself that's how big that thing is going to be, which is a chair of the Lord. And it says, and after this in eight, and after this I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, but and yet durst fight. Right, because the Lord put a spirit on them to continue to fight. They didn't back down, they just kept it going. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, 
He neither lifted up his hand, up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire out of his lip, out of his lips as a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And that's Yahweh Shah's laser beam. That's cra more crazier than what Esau's new thing they got coming out right now ain't gonna have nothing to fuck with. But you see what you but you see what Esau's Esau laser beam was able to do. It was able to laser beam on missiles that's flying out but about to destroy something, and a laser beam destroyed the missile out of the air by the laser beam. Right. Well, in that same sense, on a, a thousand million times of a fold, Yahweh Shah is going to subdue all the armies of the earth on one swap. That's how powerful Yahweh Shah's laser beam going to be. And it says, um, it says 11, and they were all mixed together. Right. They all was together. All the fighter jets. If you ever see Independence Day, all the fighter jets of the world were together. It was probably like. Oh man, fifty thousand to a hundred thousand fighter jets and all and all all in one accord in the, in the air, China, you know, whole world. And it said a blast of fire. Oh well, no, I'm Salakia. And they were all mixed together. We're talking about the um, the laser beams because it's about to go into. I'm gonna keep reading. And they were all mixed together. Which the armies were together on one accord anyway. But anyway, I'm here's here's the point. The blast of fire, the flaming breath. And the great tempest, that's what it means by all mixed together, not the armies in this particular part of the portion of the, of the scripture. It says, and they were, and talking about uh, the laser beam, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flame of breath, and the great tempest. And he fell with violence upon a multitude, which was and burnt them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to perceive, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Right. And so what Esau's uh, laser beam has done to those missiles in that video I just, sh I just shown, Yahweh, yeah, all the armies of the world are going to be in the air to fight Yahweh Shah in the air. And one blast took them all out on one shot. Ain't got nothing, ain't nothing on Yahweh Shah, man. Call her law, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. I brought this out, brothers. It was edifying to you, brothers, man. Wanted to bring that out. Esau got a laser beam coming out, but ain't nothing like Yahweh, Yahweh Shah's laser beams out of the chariots of the Lord. So I want to give all praise to Yahweh. He is the B exists by Shem in the name, the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, the deliverer, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Rakak with Dash. Double honors and up to the apostles and elders on the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akimah, their preaching his word, who are true sincerity, the entire one third, 144,000. Lord will, I'm one of those men. House of David, the Biaf, Dawada, Shalom, brothers, um, the elect. And I was going to say, uh, Shalom to you brothers out there is also to speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations, Shalom. Especially, the, you know, the brothers I've seen, um, you know, Apostle Gabar brought up, the, you know, where there's brothers in Italy now speaking full Italian, bringing out Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So that's who I'll be talking about when I say Shalom to you brothers speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations. Shalom, brothers. <laughs>